They're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're Where did this even come from? Because Trump didn't pull it from nowhere. J.D. Vance, senator from Ohio, tweeted about it the day before the debate, and other Republicans have too. The Arizona GOP put up a billboard. I've heard from many of my own constituents who have seen geese being taken out of local parks and slaughtered in front of their eyes. But police and officials in the city of Springfield, Ohio, said they'd received no credible reports of immigrants harming pets. Like one report being cited as proof online is just the documentation of a call made to authorities. Also, officials say Haitian migrants in the city are there legally. The toughest thing about claims like these is they're impossible to 100% disprove. But we can look at the evidence being used to support them, like this clip. What did you do? Did you eat that cat? Did you eat it? No, why'd you kill it? Police charged this 27-year-old woman with animal cruelty in August, but in Canton, Ohio, 175 miles away from Springfield. Also, police told us she's an American citizen who's long lived in Ohio. Other claims about pet eating seem to stem from Facebook groups, which lack any tangible evidence and often aren't even first-hand accounts. This picture, first posted on Reddit in July, is from Columbus, Ohio, 45 miles from Springfield. We talked to the person who took the photo. He had no theories about how the Canadian goose had died and no indication that the man was Haitian. One bite that did at least happen in Springfield came at this city meeting in August, where resident Anthony Harris said that immigrants were in the park grabbing up ducks by their neck and cutting their head off and walking off with them and, and eating them like. Harris said in an interview posted Thursday that he hadn't seen it happen, but had heard about it. People would hit me like, okay, I just seen a Haitian just grab up a duck in the park and cut his head off and walk off with it. He also appeared to reference this same call to police, which again, police said they found no evidence for. Rumors about Haitians online and elsewhere have spread long before he brought it up. And the biggest downside of all of these rumors is they're now having real world consequences. Some community members say the rumors putting their lives at risk.